Team United Gamers Authority. I'm Shade Hunter, and I have Huntress with me again. How's it going, Huntress? Pretty good. We are back in Icarus, and don't mind the day. Yes, we spent an entire day of just gathering resources. In this next video, we're going to be discussing our goals for the first week of game. And it's it makes it easier when you have goals to aim for to keep you on task and so you don't get lost in what you're doing so for now i'm actually going to be focusing on the resource tree and maybe a couple of things in the cooking and i'll explain when i get there and at the end of all this all the points i've used and why but i'm just going to kind of go over an overview with it i'm focusing on the resource tree so that i can carry more and res and gather more resources huntress is going down the hunting tree because she's going to be out wandering around doing some exploring and hunting at the same time and i'm not really worried about the other tiers at the moment at some point i will be going down the habitation route and i'll explain why later on but we're aiming for a certain level we can't even get into tier two until we're level 10. So there's goal one, level to level 10 at least. But once you get into that, that tier, then there's a few things we want in here that require level 15. Specifically, if we go all the way over here to the end of it, which is a weird place for it, but at level 15, I'll be able to get the masonry bench. And that is going to allow us the stone walls and roofs for our building so it's more sturdy the secondary point of this is to aim for the contact device and the digital exchange interface those are two very important things to help gain xp to leveling up and also to gain mission and quest rewards and we will explain how those work when we get there but at the end of the first week we really want to make sure that we have these two items and are aiming towards getting upgraded to our stuff so this first video is all about the goals the next video is all about the execution on how we're going to go about getting there and why and then the last one is all about the upgrades what talents we took, how we progressed in it, what tools we and weapons we decided to go with, and the reason behind those. So the big goal is level. Level, 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 level. And with a second person, it makes it very, very, very easy to level up. Because uh, in the upper left-hand corner, if you pay attention, uh, Huntress. Gather yes. something real quick. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go chop down a tree. See that? XP came up because she chopped down a tree. So everything that she does within a certain distance, everything that I do within a certain distance, we share a little bit of the XP. I only got 33 XP for her chopping down that tree. When I chop down a tree, I get 314 or something like that, 315. So I'll be getting a lot of XP for myself and then a little bit from whatever she's doing. And then she's going to be getting a little bit of everything that I'm doing. So it really helps when you have multiple people on. And that takes up the idea under the solo tree. When you get down here, you'll probably notice it yourself. There's a certain perk in here, the Lone Wolf perk, that increases your XP when you're not in a party with other people. And that shared XP really takes over for that Lone Wolf aspect. So what we're going to do is we're going to start doing the things that we need to do, and it's probably going to be switching over to the editor shade and he will probably end up making some stupid remarks about how dumb i am um cool. for the voiceover of explaining all of the stuff that we're doing and why and pointing out the process forward